So I want to walk you through and my five tips here, my trust tips right now that I'm going to walk you through here is one is talking about it, right? Acknowledge these emotion feelings of what you're thinking, right? Whether it's to your friends, your family, your mentors, really someone that you trust to talk about this as well so that you know that you're not alone. Otherwise, you're just going to go into this loop. It's like, who am I to do this? Uh, second is around our, the reframe, the failure, right? We may see that, oh, what if I do this? It does not work out, right? You want to see it as a learning opportunity, right? Any missteps, any challenges is a learning opportunity. It's a lesson for you. And this is going to really shift your mindset to help you reduce the fear and the stress, and help you elevate that self-belief that you have for yourself there. The third piece is the you. It's all about understanding your value. This is a very important piece of the work that I do. It's about really knowing your value, right? So one of three, three steps I always talk about this piece around value is first, you need to identify your value, right? Get clear on what your value is. Second there is you need to believe in your value, right? So a lot of times I have clients where they'll do the exercise identifying it, but they don't yet believe it yet. And that is a really important piece that you need to believe that, you know, what you do matters, what you do is amazing. And then from there, you want to make sure that you voice your value. So this is all about voicing what you bring to the table there. Now, the fourth piece here is an S, which is all about self-care. So this is all about, right, because this is all about self-care, self-love, right? If we don't give ourselves some love, it's hard for us to believe in ourselves there, right? This is all about maintaining that healthy work-life balance, practice stress management, having that healthy body and mind to help you combat these feelings of imposter syndrome there. And I really believe too, part of building that or overcoming that is, is doing things that you feel good, but also increasing that competency to increase that confidence there. And then lastly is the T, which is all about training your thought process. Replace the self negative self-talk with more positive affirmations, mm -hmm. right? This is gonna help you build a self-esteem and reduce any feelings of in, in, inadequacy. So I'm a big fan of affirmations. They'd be simple, like one of my favorite one is, I am MVP, I am markable, I am valuable, I am proud. 